Shalom and welcome to God's Miracle Ministry. God's Miracle Ministry is a place where you can come and experience miracles, signs and wonders that only God can do. The Lord has put on my heart to pray for you, to pray for each and every person who is watching this video. You know, I admit, when I get dreams from God, I put them out, just as God gives them to me. There's a lot of prophetic warning dreams I put out. But I need to send out blessings, God's blessings. I need and I want to pray for you because I care about you. I care about your salvation. I care about your family, your children. I care about this country. I love Israel. I care about each and every soldier that is in the Israeli Defense Force. Israel Defense Force. I pray for Benjamin Netanyahu. I pray for everyone in the land of Israel. I speak peace in Jerusalem. I speak peace in all the land of Israel. Oh, praise God for Israel. But this message is for you personally. Because I know there's a lot of you, most of you, if not all of you, are hurting right now. You've got some kind of problem in your life. Some may be scared of the end times. Of what's happening in the world today. But don't worry about it. Because God's in control. His will is being fulfilled. Bible prophecy. God, the word of God is being fulfilled today. More Bible prophecy has been, been fulfilled in the last five years and I think my entire life. And I just turned 51 four days ago on the 20th. I turned 51 years old and Bible prophecy is coming to pass quick. But you know, you and I were created for such a time as this. God planned for all of us to be here in this time. Some of us may say, oh, what am I doing here? Why did God put me here? I know why I'm here. I know my call of God. And I know some of the things that God's going to do with me. But I'm not here to lift up myself. I'm here to lift up Yahweh, Yeshua, God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. I'm here to lift up Jesus Christ to you. He is the Messiah. He's coming back. And boy, is he coming back quick. And I mean that he is on his way. So prepare your heart. Prepare your family for the return of the Messiah. Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is coming back in your lifetime. I don't care 
if you're an infant or if you're a hundred years old God is going to be here in your lifetime many things are happening around the world there's many things that you see on the television and you hear on the radio things over the internet God's prophets are blowing the trumpet all over the world. Just as you see the trumpet above me, the Yemenites so far that I am blowing around the world are as many places as God will put me in front of. I am blowing the warning. But I'm also praising God with that as well. And I'm speaking confusion into the enemy's camp wherever I go because Satan does not like that trumpet because one day Jesus is going to blow his shofar his trumpet and it's all over it's all over And then you'll see Satan bow his knee before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He doesn't want to do that, but he's going to have to. Praise God, because we're on the winning team. You're on the winning team. If you want to be, you want to be on the winning team. You want the favor of God in your life? Do you want God to hear your prayers? Do you want your name written in the Lamb's book of life? I sure do. I know my name's written there. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt. And if you want your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and if you want forgiveness of all your sins, I said all of your sins. There's a daily preparation prayer that I want you to say. I want you to repeat after me. And it will change your life forever. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask for forgiveness of my sins, the sins of my family, my work, ministry, the sins of my father and forefathers. I remit their sins and wash them in the blood of Jesus. I put on the full armor of God. If you're hesitating right now, don't. Continue to repeat after me. I put on the full armor of God, the helmet of salvation, my righteousness breastplate, my girdle of truth, and my shield of faith. I have the sword of the Spirit, my gospel feet shod. I'm standing on your word, the word of God. I plead the blood of Jesus over my spirit, soul, and body, over my health, mind, consciousness, subconsciousness, subliminal areas, and all communications coming to, from, around, and concerning me. I ask Lord of hosts to place your ministering, guarding, and protecting angels all around me, my family, my ministry, and loved ones. Lead me not into temptation. Deliver me from evil. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Glory be to God in the Most High. 
Oh, thank you for saying that prayer. Your life is going to be changed now. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are being forgiven because you've asked for them to be forgiven. You know, Jesus died on the cross for you. He shed his blood for you because he loves you. But you know, you're going, you are experiencing right now the love of God in your life. You're experiencing the love of God penetrating your life right now. And anyone who's ever seen this video who will ever see it, no matter where you are in the world, there's something happening. God is moving on your behalf. Mm -hmm. He's moving. And there's a lot of you. Because, you know, this is God's miracle ministry. There's a lot of you out there that need miracles in your life. You need miracles. You need miracles. Put the microphone up here, but I know it's been picked up. But you need miracles in your life. And you're about ready to get one. But I'm going to pray for healing. And I'm going to pray for miracles to happen in your life. Some of you may be handicapped. You may have been born that way. Some of you may have had an amputation due to a disease or an accident. You don't hear a lot of ministers Today's world pray for people like this. But I'm not a normal minister. I am a priest of the Most High God. I am anointed priest of the Most High God. I'm an ordained minister by God. I am I just turned fifty one years old on the twentieth of November. When I was around the age of seven or eight years old in the second grade in a small little town of Goree, Texas, I started getting dreams from God. Dreams that I'd be standing in front of large crowds and saying, in Jesus' name, you're healed. And they're all healed instantly. I've had a lot of these dreams that I'd be praying for people and they'd be healed instantly. And this is the time for this to occur. God has raised me up and placed me in front of senior ministers of God, upon apostles and prophets, teachers and evangelists. Many have anointed me with oil. Many have prayed blessings over my life. And I'm here to pray a blessing over your life. Because you need it. You need a blessing in your life today. You need healing in your life. You may be coming from a broken home. You may be a small child. Maybe you might be listening to me in an orphanage. I don't know where at in the world you are, but you may be there listening to me. You may have a marriage that is not going the way that you planned, and you want it restored. I'm going to pray for that marriage.
Some of you are even struggling with your faith right now. Some may be thinking about converting to a different religion besides Christianity. I would highly suggest you think about that one again. Because there's only one Messiah. There is only one Son of the Most High God. That's Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. And I want to tell you, he's on his way back. I'm talking to you as a friend. He's on his way back. That's why you're seeing Bible prophecy being fulfilled before your very eyes on your television screen. Many things are happening in the world. There's a lot of Bible prophecy happening that you're not even aware of because you haven't picked up your Bible. You want to know about Bible prophecy? You get up on YouTube and you listen to Paul Bagley. Paul Bagley. And you'll learn about Bible prophecy like you've never seen before. You sign up for his newsletters and sign up subscribe to his YouTube channel and you'll find out things every day just like I do and it'll change your life you know you know the Lord just wanted me to talk to you today as a friend someone who cares about you I don't care what color you are. I don't care where you are in this world. I care. God cares. That's why you're listening to me today. Because God cares about you. Because every once in a while you need to hear an uplifting word from God. You need to hear something uplifting. Well, I'm here to... Lift up your faith in God and let you know that He still loves you. He still cares for you. So you backslidden, who cares? God doesn't care. Just as long as you come back to Him, He will forgive you. If, that, if I'm talking to you and that's hitting you in your heart, you come back to Jesus today. And he'll forgive you of your sins. I don't care if you killed somebody. I don't care what you've done. Just as long as you repent before the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be restored back in his kingdom again. And you'll see all of heaven praise. God for you. For each and every one of you who come back today, you're going to have angels singing praise to God. Praise to God that you come back home. And I am thankful for each and every one of you who decide to come back home to God. And for you, if I'm, I'm talking to the ministers, the pastors who have churches. If you're looking for a guest speaker who operates in God's love, who operates in the gift of healing, where it be spiritual, mental, or physical healing, Call me up, and I'll be willing to come to your church and bring my shofar and blow it before your people. And you'll see miracles happen before your very eyes. These are God's miracles. I'm God's minister here on this earth. I don't care what country you're from. You want me to come? I'll come. 
just as long as God provides the finances for me to go, I'll go. I'll come. I'll speak in front of your church, your events, your conferences. I'll come with a loving heart and with a caring heart. And you'll see miracles. Bonafide miracles by God Himself. You will see them. Oh, I'm looking forward to coming to your church. If you need a prayer cloth, as in Acts 19, verse 11 and 12, I'll send you one. If you have a prayer request, you send it to me today. Send it to my personal email address at robert at God's Miracle Ministry. Dot com. You send that today. I'll send you a prayer claw. Send in your prayer request. I'll send it to my intercessors. And you'll see miracles happen. Because when these intercessors start praying, God listens. You want to hear about a miracle that just happened last the last ten days? My sister-in-law in Kansas City, her mother has been in a coma and on life support for about two weeks in ICU in a hospital up there. She called up, or I may have called her, and they told me about her mother and they were about ready to take her off life support. The doctors say when they do this, now this is the very day that they called up and they asked for our prayers, for our prayers. The very day they were going to take her off life support, the doctor said she would be dead within 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes, this woman would be dead. The family were all there. I sent out the prayer request to my intercessors and I prayed for her. They took her off life support. This lady was unconscious. They were all waiting for her to die. Guess what happened? Her eyes opened. And she was breathing on her own. And then she sat up. And then she was whispering because they had that life support thing down her throat to make her breathe. She started talking the very next day. She was talking even better. She was feeling better. And then she started walking. And then you know, Satan tried to kill her. The nurses over medicated her one day. And she lost all her feeling on her one of her sides, either left or right side. And then she fell. Then she couldn't wake up again. And they found out their mistake that they over-medicated her. But she came out of that. And just within the last three days, she left the hospital. She got up and walked out of that hospital. She's in a rehab center right now because it's going to take a little while to get back to normal. But she's alive, talking, joking around because of Jesus. Their family experienced a miracle. Not only from my prayers and my intercessors' prayers, but for her family's prayers. God wanted his name lifted up here. That's why I'm sitting here talking to you and telling you about a bona fide miracle. And if you want the same miracle, or you need a miracle or a blessing in your life, you send in that prayer request. But I'm going 
I'm going to close right now, or here shortly, but I'm going to pray for, for all of you right now. A corporate prayer. And if you want to reach out your hand toward the screen, or touch the screen as a point of contact, you do so. You do so. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I ask that you look upon the hearts of the people who are watching this video all over the world. Lord, I ask you to give them a miracle today. A bona fide miracle. I don't care if they're missing a limb or if they're dying of AIDS or some other disease. Lord, I ask for your miracle from you, Jesus. Because you are the Son of God. Because you are our healer. I ask that you heal your people now. In Jesus' name, I speak healing to you right now. In Jesus' name. I ask for people to get up out of wheelchairs, throw the crutches away, and heal them right now, Lord God. I thank you for your healing power. I thank you for your miracles. And I thank you for your blessings. Many people have lost their jobs, Lord. And they need a financial breakthrough in their life. I pray a financial breakthrough in their life today. Lord, I pray that they will be obedient servants unto you. And I ask that you forgive them of all their sins that they have already prayed. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your miracles, Lord God. Thank you for your miracles. Thank you for your, hear, your healing power. Lord, I pray a priestly blessing. I pray a prophet's blessing. Upon each and every one who is listening right now. I pray a blessing over their life. Bless them, Lord. I thank you for blessing them. I thank you for healing them. I thank you for restoring their lives, their marriages. If there are women out there who have had abortions and they're feeling guilty. Lord, I thank you for forgiving them for what they've done. Take their hurt away. Take the hurt of all the people's sins away. They may, there may, there's a lot of people out there that done some terrible things out there. Lord, take that hurt away. Take that hurt away. Forgive them. And I pray that they forgive themselves. That they forgive themselves. They won't ever forget it. But they know that it's been, been washed under the blood. I thank you for forgiving them. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's many, there's a few needs that we have here at God's Miracle Ministry and Prophetic Information Ministries. I have another computer, but I'm off my laptop right now, but my desktop is over 10 years old. And it kind of doesn't work anymore. And I can't change my websites. 
So I'm asking that you pray to the Lord and ask if he wants you to give a financial donation to this ministry. Whatever he tells you to give, please do so. Or if you want to donate a brand new computer, I need a brand new computer, a new webcam, a new printer, a scanner. I need that for this ministry. But not only that, there's I have we're supporting another new ministry in Kenya, Africa. As you see the picture up there by my so far. This minister and his wife, they also have a small orphanage over there. They need our help. They need a new computer. They need a new sound system. They need cameras as well, a projection system. Because they've asked me to minister to them live over the internet. I send them messages already, but they have to go to a cyber cafe a place where computers are to watch the service. So they bring a lot of their, their members so they can watch the message. But they want to bring this message to their whole congregation. And if you'd be so kind and send in enough money so I, we can get two computers and get them this projection system and get, get them some more Bibles over there. I'd appreciate that. They would appreciate that. We have several intercessors over in Kenya already. Out of their congregation. And they're going to be praying for you. Let's spread the word of God throughout the whole world. You know, as I say on my opener when I do prophetic information ministries where we blow the trumpet the shofar around the world informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's miracle ministry to the world well I want to bring God's miracle ministry to the world but I need your help and I want you to be a partaker of that be a partaker of souls around the world not only here in America not only in Kenya but all over the world I want you to be a part of this ministry. And if you want to be a, one of our intercessors, go to our website and sign up to be an intercessor. And if you want a to be informed, sign up for the Shofar newsletter. Sign up today and you'll get a newsletter here pretty soon when I do another one. I just sent one out a couple of days ago. But if you want it, you can see it after you sign up. I request it and I'll, mail, I'll email it to you. And it'll be a blessing to you. But I want to thank you for listening to this message. May God keep you and bless you for the rest of your life. And you watch. You're going to get a miracle. Until next time, this is Minister Robert Lee Williams from God's Miracle Ministry. Have a great day, and God bless.